All right, what's up guys? This is gonna be part four of the N54 build. Um, in this video, we are going to put the oil squirters into the block and then put the piston rings onto the pistons, put the pistons onto the rods and then install them into the engine. This is where we're at now. Everything's clean and blown out. So you want this as clean as possible. And that's where we're at here. All the ring end gap tolerances are set correctly. The uh, rods are measured up. The oil squirters are here. We're gonna jump right into this and start installing the oil squirters onto the block. All right, here goes the oil squirters. Um, it was at this moment I realized I was probably supposed to do this before I put the crank in. So this is gonna be kind of finicky. So I'm just gonna start with them. They go to 12 newton meters. All the oil squirters are good to go. Get them all right in the corners at 12 newton meters. Oh, there's something fast on there. I think we'll be This time, I am putting the connecting rods onto the pistons. I have all these pistons dotted with the uh, valve relief for the intake. So I want all of the logos on the rods facing towards the front of the engine. So they are going to go on this way. But first, I gotta put all these little clips in the one side. And I'm gonna show you how I do this. This is number one. Take this clip. First clip, there we go. So intake are the bigger valves. Are you sure? Yeah, so intake are the bigger valves. And the intake is on the left side of this engine. So I'm going to put it on this way. These, this clip on this side is always more difficult. I make them the opening face straight up. That's why you label stuff. That is, takes some force to get those in. All right, 
all of the pistons are on the rocks. This one, I am going to put all the rings on the uh, pistons. With the uh, oil control rings, there's like a lip on the back. So you have to put this on before you put the other rings on. Uh, it's going like order like this. And then these rings don't matter if they go up or down, they're the same. There's one little gap is right there. And then I'm going to put the other one on 180. Come here. So the end gaps should be 180 degrees apart. So one is here. I'm gonna put that like there. And then this one is going to go right over here. All right. Then the scraper ring. This is a brittle one. You gotta be careful when you put this on, from what I heard. And you want to make sure that the logo or the dot is facing up because these rings do matter which way they go. So I have this one on, the, N, the N50 logo is up and you can feel the lip facing down. So that ring is on there correctly. And then I'm going to orientate the gap on this side of the wrist pin. And then the compression ring is going to go 180 degrees from that. And then this ring needs to go up as well with the logo up. They're both on there. Sweet. So under one. All the rings are on now, and uh, I have them all orientated exactly the same to each other. I'm not sure if that matters, but I want them all to be the same. Just
going to put the pistons in now. I have this 84.5 millimeter Wiseco piston installing tool that I'm going to use. And we're gonna go from there. This crank spins so freely, it's insane. Not an impact gun, it has like a clutch in it so it doesn't put these tight, it just snugs them up. torque the rod bolts. I'm setting these to 55 foot pounds and here we go.
Up. The pistons and the rods are in. In the next video, I think I'm gonna put the cylinder head together or set the timing or put the timing chain in and stuff, but probably do the head first. Yeah, all the uh, valve reliefs are the big side on the intake and the small side on the exhaust. That's I marked all this beforehand to make sure I didn't mess this up because they're pretty close. So um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'm very excited. So peace.